Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at multiplying conjugate binomials univariate. So conjugate meaning opposite signs, same terms, opposite signs, uh, univariate, one variable, binomial, two terms. So let's look at the process or our little formula or shortcut for multiplying these conjugates. Now, you can continue to use what we've used before by uh, using your distributive property and distributing each term from the first parentheses to the second parentheses, but there is somewhat of a shortcut to simplifying these problems. So the formula says we have a plus b times a minus b, then that simplifies to be or multiplies out to be the first term squared minus the second term squared. So when we're multiplying conjugates, we can quickly multiply it out by using this formula here. All right, so in this problem here, we have seven minus z times seven plus z. So I have the same terms, but opposite signs. So it doesn't matter if the plus is in the first parentheses or the second parentheses, you just wanna make sure you have opposite signs with the same terms then you can use this rule here. All right, so the rule says that, okay, well, if we have that, then I can get to the answer by squaring the first term minus squaring of the second term. And seven squared is 49, and z squared is z squared. And that's that answer multiplied out. Now, I'm going to come down here and multiply it out like we've done before by using our distributive property and make sure that this formula works. So distribute the seven. So seven times seven uh, plus seven times positive Z. Distribute the negative Z. So negative Z times seven and negative Z times positive Z. And then seven times seven is 49. Seven times Z, negative or minus seven times Z. And then minus Z times Z is Z to the second. And as we've done before, combine the like terms. As you can see, they are exact opposites. Positive 7z minus 7z is 0z, so that cancels each other out. And we're left with 49 minus z to the second, which is the exact same answer that we had up here by using our formula or shortcut there. Okay, so let's try one more of those. All right, so this time we have 9c times 5 times 9c plus 5. Again, using our rule that says when we multiply conjugates, then the result is the first term squared minus the second term squared. So the first term here, you see they have the exact same terms have the exact we have the exact same terms uh, with the plus and a minus so we quite simply say 9c squared the first term squared minus 5 squared the second term squared so 9c squared you have to square each one of those the 9 squared 9 is 81 and then c times c squared so 9 squared is 81 and then c to the second power is c squared minus 25. And that's all there is to using that shortcut. Again, you can multiply the completely out by using your distributive property, but it's great to learn uh, that little formula there that says when we're multiplying conjugates, the result is the first term squared minus the second term squared. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.